Today, we're talking about Luongo in the Ring of Honor. It feels like we just had this conversation in November so. when they first announced it, yeah. but they officially announced the date December 14th when the Florida Panthers are in town. I wonder nice. if OEL's tribute video is going to get bounced for the ceremony that they have to do for Luongo. Uh, Luongo will be inducted into the Canucks Ring of Honor. And the first 10,000 fans, we got a photo of this here. First 10,000 fans. Who do you think has a, a better, uh, who has a better, like, return to Vancouver video? Oliver Ekman Larson or Will Lockwood? Because Will Lockwood's going to, he's coming back too. There's not going to be a video. Oh, that one game, Will Lockwood had seven hits you in his don't debut. You need a video for Will, OEL and Will Lockwood. I'm not saying, I'm just joking right now. I'm making a joke of a question here, but. Will Lockwood, that first oh, game he excuse played. Me, excuse me. Okay, so you said you said who would get a better? Obviously, yeah. Will Lockwood. Yeah, you think so? Undoubtedly. But yeah, because it's like what? It, yeah. Thank you, Oliver Ekman Larson. Just, it just runs my uh oh, we all tweet <laughs> video of him like really far behind in the the bag skate. <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I I hope he has success. He had a great first that preseason little, game. That little stretch pass he sent in. Yeah, nice, yep. nicely done for OEL. And hey, OEL at two point five million, and you don't have Quinn Hughes playing ahead of him. That's a great defenseman to have on your team. I don't know about that. I'd, I'd have to be proven differently. Okay. Maybe that. not great, but 2.5 million is a lot more stomachable than sure. 7.9 or whatever the Cucks had. Yeah, that's good math there, Quads. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I think Will Lockwood would have a good one. So the question yeah, around Noah Luongo. Fantillo. Fantillo? What's that? How do you say the Italian version? Fantillo. Fantillo? Because I, see, I see the double L sometimes. And my, my Spanish roots come out. Fantillo. Uh, but uh, Noah Fantillo says uh, OEL definitely scoring on that night. Would not be surprised as well. <laughs> Right, like, uh, or at least like an OEL point shot tipped in by Will Lockwood. Wilt says, "Can't wait for Lockwood's <laughs> Ring of Honor." Okay, okay, okay so yeah, back I'll track to, it. Back to Luongo. Luongo. Let's, Let's get, get the bobblehead back, back up here. Back bobblehead. on the rails. So the bobblehead, ten thousand first ten thousand fans get into the arena. My girlfriend saw this and said, Ooh. "Make sure you get me one of those." I said, "I don't know if I'm going to be able to." I got uh, one of the bobbleheads right here, actually. From so, how did you get that? I, I went to the game. You and I went to this game. <laughs> We, you got one too. <laughs> what? No, I didn't. I yeah, definitely we don't went to own the, that. Or no, we went to the Sedin's retirement one. We I, went to the Jersey retirement before we had jobs. Oh, so this is 1,000 points. So I must have oh, gone to like yeah. the first home game after 1,000 points or something. I just happened to be at the game for it. Do that was think, 2020 when they got their jerseys retired. We had just started podcasting together. Do you think that TV logo is going to be on the bobblehead like it is in the photo? Absolutely. Um, Undoubtedly. His retirement ceremony is brought to you by TD. Because this one I don't think is. This one doesn't have any TD. Though. I can't believe they would take corporate dollars like that. Okay, Aaron, let's do Betway. Okay, it's not the eight. Let's, everybody got to pay the bills, baby. <laughs> As we get to Betway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, how would you take that money? How could you take? How could you hey, take sponsor money? Today uh, is the first time episode. I believe this is four hundred and sixty-six. This is the first episode of Canucks Conversation. This is episode four sixty-six, where you did the prep today. You yes, wanted you I wanted did. to learn how to do some prep. Well, yeah. You chose the bet. You did some stuff for yourself. I'm very happy. I, was I got to... the videos in, although I think I screwed up the audio for Aaron there. So my apologies there. The pod calls and talk it quote was cut off a little bit. That was my mistake. Any thought here, Aaron, on that? Did Quad screw this thing up? I definitely screwed it up. Aaron doesn't need to comment. Well, um, everybody, I've got to show everyone what Aaron's wearing as well. Oh, boy. Here People are going to love it. What's Whoa, going what on the there? the hell's going on over there? <laughs> Jeez, I can't see anything. can't even see. Oh, there, oh, he, there is. he is. Yes, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Put that away. Get, get him off the screen, Aaron. <laughs> Oh, it's a nude jersey. We like nude because North Burnaby, of course. And we will have a Burt camp. Uh, To close out the Ring of Honor talk, he's going to be in the Ring of Honor. A lot of fans bringing up the argument again of, okay, you have three, or you have four Hall of Famers, Hockey Hall of Famers. Three of their four jerseys are going to be retired. You got Burry, the Sedins, and Luongo's going to be the only one who doesn't have his jersey retired. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't have a hard enough stance on this. I'm just gonna ri- list out who is in the current Ring of Honor for the Canucks. It's Orlan Curtinback, Kirk McLean, Thomas Grudine, Harold Snaps, Pat Quinn, Matthias Olin, and Alex Burrows. Does Luongo deserve to be in that conversation? I think some people would say for his contributions to the Canucks, yeah. And hey, I'm willing to listen to that argument. What's I don't know if I agree the double, to it. The double down with the Kirk McLean because they both were number one. I think that comes I don't hate the that. They, they did that in uh, Kirk, Montreal listen, McLean, with number 16. And McLean is around the team all the time. Yeah. You see him at almost every single home game. He's a huge part of the community. I wouldn't have any problem with them doing that together. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. It's just like, how do you pull it off? Like, is it I, more? I would put up two. 
two retired number ones. That's, sure. Yeah, I would you do don't like split. Yeah. yeah. Slash yeah, 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 like, yeah that yeah, would yeah, look yeah. bad. Sure. I would do two separate ones. But is it more one. disrespectful to Luongo if you do that? Right? Like, is it more disrespectful? Or if, if you're putting him in the ring of honor, you're putting him at the same level as Kirk McClain. Actually, just like I happen to just love this debate because I'm not really too deep on either side of it. Same here. Exactly. Be. I actually love hearing like people. Debate how does how does Kirk McClain feel if you retroactively take him out of the ring of honor and say, yeah, you know what? Because we want to retire Luongo's jersey, we're also retiring yours. Mm. How does he feel about that? Good question. And Luongo played 448 games for the Vancouver Canucks. And I think that's what some people just think of, like, the the very good times. And they think, oh, he was here for a few seasons. Like, no. Eight years, eight separate seasons with the Vancouver Canucks. Mm -hmm. I think he's done enough and been there enough to have his jersey retired. The numbers are ridiculous. Almost a 920 save percentage over that time with the Canucks and a 2.68 goals against. Got a Burt Cam going for God, the people. He was so good. Man. Bert's hiding behind his water bowl. And yes, he has water all day, folks. Just to be clear. Luong- Luongo played 76 games for the Vancouver Canucks in the first season he got here. Do you like oh, yeah. that yep. moment of like those days are just over? You won't see a goalie play that many games. games That's he insane. He started 73 the next year. Yeah. Wow, man. Unreal. That's yeah. just something that you don't see anymore. Um but yeah, I, I actually just am kind of just like open to the discussion about it. I like hearing from people that actually give a crap about goaltenders. Like I like Luongo. He's one of the goalies I actually do like. But uh, I don't know. I don't know the right answer. I think that's what makes it a fun thing to discuss. Exactly. Because there isn't a there right answer. There isn't a right answer. There's like so many little sidebars that you can go to the McLean, the McLean situation. Mm-hmm. Do you put it, do you leave Alex Burroughs as like the only main guy from that group not totally. involved in the 2011 yeah. time? Was he, was he a Canuck long enough? So it's like, yeah, it's Alex Edler, Ring of Honor, I'd say, right? Yes. Like okay. one day Alex Edler will be in the Ring of Honor. Yes. Like the second best. Hasn't called it a history. career yet. He still wants to, still him, wants to play. Let him play, man. Let Edler cook. If you had the call, if you had the call, mm. Luongo for Ring of Honor or Jersey retired, what would you say? If you're uh, oh. Francesco on line one, he says, "Dave, what are we what are we doing here?" I would say Frankie. Yeah, which is also my brother's name. Yep. Actually, my brother's name is Francesco, but he goes by Frankie. Anyways, Frankie. Yeah. Retire that number. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Final answer. You know what? Don't ask me to explain why. I would too, but I think it might, and it might like, I think the it depends on how old you are as well, right? Like I was 18 when the Canucks went to the 2011 Stanley Cup finals. That mm-hmm. was an unreal experience for me, but I also wasn't here for 94. I wasn't here for 82. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't watching those games and thinking like, I'm sure Orlan Curtin back meant a lot to a lot of Canucks fans yeah, back then, but it's just like different times, you know? And, uh, that's another t- like Thomas Gradine, longtime Canuck. He's been with the organization now forever. As Here's a scout. the thing: like, yeah. how, where do you draw the line? But I think it's like this guy's a Hall of Famer in Roberto Luongo. Hall yeah. of Famers, I think, get their jersey retired if they spent the good portion of their career and the best years of their career with that team. I think they just get their jerseys retired. That's the way I would look at it. You can't wear like the Smith didn't even it, he, he wasn't even that. a question for him. He said, "I'm not wearing number one, even though he's worn it his whole career. Did I'm not wearing for it obvious for obvious reasons." reasons. What's the obvious reason? It's not retired, but I get it. No, I, I agree with Smith. I agree with what he said, but I'm just saying it. If, if it's going to garner that kind of respect from your own players, that only adds to the argument that it should be retired. I just, look, I know I'm going to get people on Twitter being like, you're wrong. I don't know. This young kid over here doesn't get it. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's our bet way better today. No, just... <laughs> alternatively, you can't keep retiring numbers when you haven't won anything. That's true. I, I understand. And I, I think, at, and you know what? I'm calling Frankie back, and I'm saying don't retire. Damn, number. yeah. Call yeah. him back. Line Frank, one. sorry. <laughs> Take it all back. See, that's the thing. Like, I, yeah, you can go either way with it. I really think. I'm just, I like when somebody makes a valid point. Add, add a valid point to the yes. conversation here. Yeah, don't I think scream it can go one both way. Ways. I think it can go both ways either. Yeah. All 